everyone i hope you're doing well uh my name is robertina in case you are new here thank you so much for stopping by here on my channel on this video to learn something so in today's video i want to look into upwork i've been uh, on upwork for maybe a year or two now yes and i want to share some light on something that i've discovered lately and it has just been bugging me and i needed to share it so that i can save somebody anyone who's planning to use upwork anyone who's planning to use any online job platform and anyone who is probably fallen to this trap and they are waiting for some type of result i don't know all right so i realized something the other day and for quite a while actually but today i saw it and i was like there's no way i'm going to let this slide again it's going on and it has to be stopped all right so now um when you're on upwork there's this front page where the job offers are listed there and you select the one that is that you think you can do and while you're browsing you you get to see how much this job is paying what is required of you and then you send a proposal after sending your proposal you wait for a call back or something you know something like that but now <coughs> there's this particular type of offer that has been posting i've been seeing a lot of uh those types of offers on uh, on upwork especially because that's where i am now what happens is that you see a really lucrative offer and uh, i'll use an example of what i saw today the offer i saw today so this offer number one red flag number one was that it was paying a lot of money it's not bad to get paid a lot of money actually there are clients who will pay you well for <clears throat> some type of work which another client might pay you very little for that same amount of work all right so at the end of the day also it's about how you represent yourself the experience you have and uh, the clients that you're dealing with all right so it's not bad to get paid a lot of money but you have to do your due diligence you have to understand that not everything is that easy so this offer is paying a thousand dollars let me call it a thousand dollars they have written 999 <coughs> sorry excuse me they have written um 999 let's call it a thousand dollars 1k all right now what they need the job requires you to write four articles talking about different cities uh, the activities you can do in a different city let's say for example you're traveling or you're tra you're a traveler you land in a city like new york you land in a city like um london nairobi cape town uh kampala dar es salaam yeah so the article you're writing is supposed to revolve around that particular city and the activities you can do there uh the cultures you know when you are writing you're going to be as creative as possible so that the your article is captivating to whoever is reading and it is also giving value and pointers to how you can enjoy your stay at a particular city all right basically that's how i understood it so now <clears throat> uh when i saw it in my mind first thing of course because i'm an african girl i decided that if i get this offer i would write about african cities and the different uh, activities you can partake in especially our culture our amazing culture all right so i would have gone for nairobi i would have gone for uh maybe one city per country <laughs> because in kenya we have like four cities i'd have done nairobi i would have done uh dar es salaam maybe lagos and uh a city in south africa because those are my favorite places or egypt now um that is what i was planning to do so what happens the requirements for you to apply for this job was that you have to of course show proof of previous work done so for me i was planning to use my uh, articles which are on my medium account which i'm linking down below if you want to go and read yeah the other requirement which was like the major and only important requirement <laughs> was that you have access to something called chat gpt university all right chat gpt university personally i use chat gpt and i'm proud to say that all right in this era of ai taking over everything we need to know what they are doing 
how they are doing the things you have to understand how to use ai to your benefit not look at it as a competition or as a threat that is going to take away your work okay so i embraced chat gpt and it has helped me a lot if i tell you how much it has helped me we'll stay here for long okay so in case you want a separate video about how to use chat gpt just comment down below write how to use chat gpt and i will compile a video for you guys if i get at least uh let's say 10 comments i can do that for 10 people okay um, of course there are many other videos out there uh, with people who have <laughs> shared how you can use ChatGPT to your advantage but there's always that I can relate I know Robertina Robertina if Robertina is telling me how ChatGPT works I will understand it easily then if some other IT guru or social media guru or AI guru is talking about all right there's a way that you understand things when they are when they are explained to you by someone who you know someone who you can relate to okay so despite all of that i'm still waiting for the 10 comments <laughs> so that i can compile a video on how to use chat gpt and i know it's gonna be an awesome video all right so moving forward now since myself i don't know this chat gpt university requirement they're asking for what i know is just the ChatGPT platform. I go to ChatGPT itself, ask what is ChatGPT University because they should have the answer if it's something that is coming from them. They should have the perfect answer. They didn't have an answer. They actually, actually, the answer they gave me was the generic one, where when which the one they give you uh, when they don't know the answer to give you. Let's say if you're asking for maybe facts or dates or you know personal question like maybe you're doing a research about what is the net worth of Kenya's president they'll not give you a direct answer so if chat GPT does not know my next best person to ask is who you guessed it mr. Google I go to Google and I research I, I just type chat GPT University I'm expecting a website that says chatgpt.org or dot whatever so that I can look into uh, the details of that university what do people do there what kind of certificates are being offered okay because I need that certificate for me to apply to this opportunity at Upwork it's paying thousands of dollars I mean who doesn't want to get paid that much so now <coughs> Google there's no such results the results that are coming are more like scam uh not real and one particular one which i knew would give me the correct answer was a result from the upwork community page someone had already asked about what chat gpt university is and there were so many answers debunking that whole idea that whole issue and most of the comments on that post was that it is a scam all right by the time you realize that it is a scam you have already wasted some money okay because now what happens I went back to that job offer on Upwork website itself now I went back to that job offer to look at it and uh, I, I read everything everything number one the thing they ask you is that you have access mark my word access so in anything for you to get access to anything you need to have like uh some type of even if you're going to work for you to be allowed into your place of work you must produce your job card or if you're going to take some money from your atm you need to produce your atm card okay so here they wanted your they wanted you to have access to the church gpt university which i have just found out does not exist then when you read all the way down to the end of that uh job brief there's a link they have put a link down there and you know what they say about links don't open them if you don't know where they come from now i don't open it but i have seen from the comments in the previous post on the call on the upwork community people are talking about how they post a link you open the link and the first thing they ask you is for you to pay 15 dollars a whole 15 dollars do you know how much how hard it is to make $15 with online work <laughs> and then someone is here asking you to pay them so that you have access to something that does not exist for you to apply to their job 
which is paying you in quotes now thousands of dollars so it makes zero sense it makes zero sense to me for you to spend money to apply for a job for them to pay you a lot of money why do they need my money in the first place if they have so much money to pay me for doing such a simple task as writing four articles okay so from the screen you can see how much money they were promising the 999 dollars and one thing i just wanted to point out is that uh, on such an opportunity as you can see there are how many proposals 20 to 50 all 20 to 50 proposals none of them have been replied to now no invite has been sent and it is just the actually the outright red flag that this is not legit why are they posting a job if they are not looking at the people who are applying 20 to 50 applications are so many to not have even uh, one uh, opportunity and when you go down there to see the client's history their last job was in march 2022 over a year ago and they paid ten dollars twenty dollars the previous job they had after that was the previous year in april where they paid uh, 65 dollars so the most money they have ever paid if they have was 65 dollars so as you can see those are just some of the few things that you need to look out be careful when you're seeking work we all want to get paid we all want to get some opportunity especially online yeah but there are some things like how can i uh, one have 50 proposals and they don't look at even one of them so i flag it off as a red flag and i realize that i have to come here and share with my people if you're on upwork in case you have come across such a thing and you know another thing that they do they tell you that for you to get for your application to stand out please start your application with the word chat gpt university like a secret code you know when you start your application with that word for them basically it's meant to help them see that you read the entire job brief but it's pointless it is pointless it is wasting your time they don't they don't want you to know they're just hooking you first of all with that much money secondly with sounding all professional thirdly with you know telling you use this code it's our secret code you know we have like our own language and those are just the things that most of these job offers are using online to scam people and the fourth thing they put a link there for you to click you don't know what happens when you click that link there are links which when you click immediately they start <coughs> they get access to uh, your information and you get hacked you lose your data you lose your things and all that the other day let me digress just a bit the other day i was editing a video and uh, unfortunately the last clip to that video I accidentally deleted it and it was so important for me for that video that I decided I have to retrieve it so I started looking for apps that retrieve uh, deleted items because it was not in my Google backup at all and I don't know how it it passed my Google backup account anyway so one two three here and there on Google app I download an app I follow what they're telling me to do but when i check my media like <laughs> three quarter of my videos were gone all of them it deleted all my media so you can imagine my shock and my imagination by the way i, I don't even know how that one I, I think i was just really 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 i was really desperate to have that clip back to make sure my com my video seemed complete i lost it and i had to pause that video without uh, that last clip but luckily all the clips that were deleted by that app which i quickly uninstalled were backed up in my google uh, photos account so that one is that one was okay so basically back to the story back to our story up work <laughs> basically what i wanted to tell you was that whenever you see a link which is unofficial on upwork an advertiser is not supposed to share any link if they share a youtube link it's fine because youtube is youtube we you can spot a youtube link 
and you can know it is not harmful but any other type of link they're not supposed to so you open this link and uh, i didn't open it but according to the comments is that once you open it you're taken to a page that asks you to pay 15 dollars so that you have access the one they're looking for to chat gpt university so that you can go back now to uh to upwork to apply for that particular job i found it unfair even upwork themselves are supposed to already be flagging such opportunities off like well, as as soon as they are posted they should be deleted immediately because many unsuspecting people people who are just joining upwork people who don't know how it works they will fall prey they think they will think this is how it works you invest get a return isn't that how life works life works isn't that how life works you invest get a return on your investment so here basically you you'll be thinking let me spend this 15 dollars at the end of the day i'm gonna get paid a thousand dollars it won't work you will lose your hard earned money so be careful out here if you have any other um scam that you have noticed on these online job platforms please make sure that you share it in the comment section below because you're going to be reading it and gaining uh, information and knowledge because knowledge is power all right knowledge is power always ensure that you're doing your due diligence very important no matter how much that person is highly rated no matter how much that company is well uh, reviewed always ensure that you do your due diligence so that you don't fall prey in the hands of scammers there are people who scam in many many different ways not only even online work even offline like there's someone who will show up in your company with an offer letter they did an, an interview in i don't know where they got accepted <laughs> they were given an offer letter and they're told to report but in the middle of that process they had to part with some money here in Canada, there are such uh, stories where people ask you to pay 30k if you haven't heard about it just go do some research but it has happened you pay 30 kenya 30000 kenyan shillings for a job that does not exist you show up in a company and they're like what we don't even that we don't even have that kind of job opportunity in our place and that that's how you realize that you lost money so the point of this video was to enlighten you to emphasize on the fact of doing due diligence when it comes to anything online even myself uh most of you already know that i do jumia sales whenever i am like conversing or when i'm engaging a new client and i feel like they are feeling a bit skeptic they don't want to trust jumia they're feeling like uh online jumia is not real it is fake that is something that i have to respect because it is them exercising their intuition to do their due diligence so i usually tell them please just go find their legit jumia website in case you have any challenge placing an order once you get there then now you can come to me and i will help you because you have to respect someone who is doing their own due diligence even if you have a physical shop if you're selling outfits and someone comes and you tell them this is an original uh, cookware from china <clears throat> or from egypt or from uganda or from wherever they will want some verification if they asking if they are asking for that verification give it to them okay because you need to build your trust that is how we we build relationships that help us and help them and in future when we need to do something or some work together we already know who to trust and who not to trust okay so that's it that's it for today's video thank you for watching up until this point i rarely do this kind of video so if you like them leave a comment down below letting me know if i can do more of these and i will really be glad to you know share more of information more of knowledge with you guys and uh, we keep growing together at the beginning of this year I had promised myself that I would share content here on this channel that would amplify everyone on this channel uh, through opportunities that help them make money opportunities that help them you know just gain an extra income it doesn't have to be your main income a side hustle and that and that is what I look forward to achieving by the end of the year all right so thank you and i hope to see you in my next video bye but Tina and in today's video I want to share one which I think is one of the many representations it's a representation of the baby <laughs>